This is a 28-year-old patient uh, who presented with this large mass in the posterior fossa. As you can see, this is off the midline um, on the left side. It is an intraaxial mass and it has surrounding this genic edema. It's causing mass effect on the fourth ventricle and it's also causing some uh, moderate dilatation of the ventricles with some uh, transependent absorption of CSF. So this is causing hydrocephalus. Uh, now this mass is showing uh, on the diffusion, uh, significant diffusion restriction, and ADC map is showing the low signal. On the post gadolinium images, it's causing, uh, it's showing a patchy type of enhancement. So um, even though this is an older patient uh, by age, but this is actually a typical appearance of uh, medulloblastoma. In older patients, they tend to be off midline, they're not intraventricular. This particular patient, in fact, uh, had a quick recurrence. Uh, the tumor was initially diagnosed uh, a few months earlier. Uh, this is actually the initial uh, tumor before the surgery. And uh, this is after the initial surgery. And this is actually a recurrence that happened quite quickly within maybe three months of uh, the uh, resection.